You turn off your phone thinking you're completely off the grid. But what if I told you that hackers could still be tracking your every move? It sounds impossible, right? After all, a phone that's switched off should be, well, off. But the reality is far more unsettling than most people realize. Hi everyone, Ron from Certo here. Today we're diving into one of the most disturbing aspects of modern surveillance. How your phone can be turned into a tracking device even when it appears to be completely powered down. We'll explore four methods hackers could use to spy on you when your phone is off. And most importantly, I'll show you exactly how to protect yourself from these threats. Some of these methods might genuinely surprise you, so stick around. Your privacy could depend on it. So let's start with perhaps the most deceptive method, malware that hijacks your phone's shutdown process. Your phone appears to turn off, but it's actually still running in the background, secretly monitoring your activity. For Android devices, there's a particularly nasty piece of malware called Power Off Hijack. When you press the power button to shut down your device, instead of actually powering off, this malware displays a fake shutdown animation. Your screen goes black, the phone appears dead, but underneath, all the phone's sensors and communication systems remain active. The malware can continue tracking your location, recording audio, and even taking photos, all while you believe your phone is safely switched off. And iPhone users aren't safe either. Security researchers from ZekOps have developed a proof of concept called No Reboot that works similar on iOS devices. This malware can simulate the entire shutdown and restart process so convincingly that even tech-savvy users are fooled. The fake shutdown looks identical to the real thing. The power-off slider appears and then the screen goes black. But underneath this elaborate charade, your iPhone continues to function normally with all its tracking capabilities intact. Now, this next method exploits a feature that Apple actually has designed to help you, but it could be turned against you in frightening ways. Even when your iPhone is switched off, if you have Find My enabled, your devices continue to broadcast its location using Bluetooth. Now, this happens because Apple keeps certain low power chips active to help you locate lost devices. Nearby Apple devices can detect these Bluetooth signals and relay your phone's locations to Apple servers. While this is incredibly useful for finding a lost phone, it becomes a privacy nightmare if someone gains access to your Apple account. If a hacker compromises your iCloud account, or if you share an Apple ID with someone who later becomes a threat, they can track your phone's location even when it's completely powered down. But here's where it gets really scary. University researchers in Germany demonstrated something called Evil Never Sleeps, a method that exploits these always-on chips in a far more sinister way. They showed that even when an iPhone is shut down, the Bluetooth, NFC, and ultra-wideband chips remain active to power Find My and Apple Wallet features. More alarmingly, they successfully loaded malware directly onto the Bluetooth chip that could execute while the phone appeared completely off. Now, while this requires sophisticated technical knowledge and specialized access to the device, it demonstrates that hackers can run malware on your phone even when it appears completely dead. And if university researchers can do this openly, there's no telling what shady organizations and underground hacking groups might have developed in secret. Okay, now this next method takes us into the realm of state-sponsored surveillance, and it's not science fiction. NSA documents leaked by Edward Snowden revealed that government agencies have developed tools specifically designed to spy on phones that appear to be switched off. According to Snowden's revelations, GCHQ, the UK's intelligence agency, developed a collection of tools called the Smurf Suite. Now, the most disturbing of these was something called Dreamy Smurf. Dreamy Smurf could remotely power on or off a phone without the user's knowledge through a specially crafted invisible SMS message. The target would receive no notification that their device had been compromised. Once activated, 
This tool gave intelligence agencies the ability to override the power button entirely. A phone could appear completely shut down, screen black, buttons unresponsive, while still being fully operational for surveillance purposes. Now the final method is surprisingly simple, but can be highly effective. Attaching a physical tracking device to your phone or phone case. Now we're talking about credit card size GPS trackers. These devices are only a few millimeters thick and someone could easily hide one behind your phone case in a matter of seconds. Unlike bulkier devices like AirTags, these GPS cards are virtually invisible once installed. And because they're so incredibly thin, they can hide in places you'd never think to look. Now, these trackers can run for months on a single charge, sending location updates directly to the person tracking you. And because they're independent of your phone, you can still be tracked even when your phone is off. Now, the most disturbing part, most of these devices cost less than $20 and can be purchased easily online. No technical expertise required, just a few seconds of access to your phone case. That's it. Now that you know your phone can be tracked even when it's off, well, what can you actually do about it? Here are seven practical steps you can take. If you have a phone with a removable battery, then physically removing the battery is a guaranteed way to ensure your device is completely off. Now, of course, this isn't practical for modern smartphones with sealed designs, but it's worth knowing if you have an older device. Then there's a Faraday bag. A Faraday bag blocks all electromagnetic signals to and from your device. When your phone is inside one of these bags, it cannot send or receive any communications, regardless of what malware might be running. These bags are relatively inexpensive and provide complete signal isolation. And they're particularly useful if you need to ensure absolute privacy during sensitive conversations or meetings. Next, use a reputable security app like Certo Anti-Spy to regularly scan your device for malware, including sophisticated threats that may tamper with the shutdown process. The app can even take a silent photo of anyone who tries to access your phone without your permission. It's a great all-around security solution for anyone concerned about phone hacking. And I've included a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. Only use authorized repair centers or highly reputable independent shops for any phone repairs. Malicious repair shops could potentially install hardware implants or firmware modifications that enable persistent surveillance capabilities. And if you must use an independent repair shop, research them thoroughly and consider the sensitivity of the data on your device. Next, regularly update your phone's operating system and apps. Security updates often fix vulnerabilities that could be exploited by fake shutdown malware and other surveillance tools. So enable automatic updates whenever possible to ensure you're always protected against the latest known threats. For iPhone users, securing your Apple account is crucial for preventing Find My abuse. Use a strong, unique password and enable two-factor authentication using an authenticator app rather than SMS codes. Regularly review which devices are logged into your Apple account and remove any you don't recognize. Finally, regularly inspect your phone and phone case for small tracking devices. Pay attention to any notifications about unknown AirTags or similar devices traveling with you. If you find a tracking device you don't recognize, remove its battery if you can and report it to law enforcement. The reality is your phone's power button isn't always the privacy switch you think it is. But now that you know these tracking methods exist, you can take steps to protect yourself. Whether it's fake shutdown malware, find my abuse, or those ultra thin GPS cards, well, awareness is your first line of defense. Now, please don't let paranoia take over, but do take these threats seriously. So if this video opened your eyes to something new, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more smartphone security content. And let me know down in the comments, which of these tracking methods surprised you most? Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay secure.